Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about sheet metal component. So left side you can see the sheet metal component in folder state and here I am going to show you how to create the drawing in folder state as well as I am going to show you how to create flat pattern. So this is the component. I am going to create so this is the drawing so I am going to show you step by step and how to create this place these dimensions And I am going to show you how to place dimensions in flatten state. So let's start now. Here I have taken a SOLIDWORKS blank file. Select the front plane. Go to sketch. Take center point rectangle. Select the, this vertical and horizontal line. Make it equal. So this is 50. Go to sheet material module. Select base flange. And here I have taken 5mm sheet thickness and K factor is 0.45. Now go to sheet metal, select edge flange. Just place it here, the other side. And we have to select material inside say ok see here we have to flip the other direction now we have to modify this sketch give it in right side view Simply drag this upward. This is 235. This is 50. Now take corner rectangle, draw one more rectangle here. So the gap between this edge and this line is 5 mm. Usually it will be equivalent to sheet thickness. This is 130. This is 60. Now go to power trim. 
and uh, delete these lines. See here. Now I am going to draw this ear shape flange. Keep it in isometric. See orientation is very much important. Go to sheet metal, select edge flange. Here keep it in top view. So this flange edge and this flange edge should not be collinear. So we have to bring it outside. So we have to select bend outside. So okay. Now keep it in front view. Here we need to edit the sketch. So this value is 185. This is 30. Now we have to draw one semicircle. So select this line, make it construction take three point arc select this two end points and place it here and select this center point and this circle make it coincide now we have to show this dimension so select this Say OK and select this dimension somewhere here and uh, make it maximum. So this value is important. So here you can take 40. Now say OK. So this is. Did it previous okay now I am going to create this top air flange which is at 30 degrees so go to sheet metal module select edge flange select this edge just place it over here and make it 30 degrees So here we have to select material inside. See here. Now we have to edit this sketch. So this value is 31. So we here we have to draw one semicircle. So make this line construction. Select arc and place it here. Joining these two endpoints. Select this point and this circle. Make it coincide. 
Okay, okay. See, this is created now. This ear flange has been created. Now we have to make mirror of these three features since it is a symmetric. So go to mirror command. So we have to select a right plane. It is symmetric about right plane. See here. Select features to mirror. So select these three features. So since it is a symmetric, we can use mirror command. Now go to sheet metal, unfold this component. Collect all bends, say OK. Keep it in front view. So now I am going to create these cutouts. You can see here. So keep it in wireframe for better visibility. Select this. Uh, See before that we have to select this sketch. Now we can keep in wireframe. Now go to slot command. Place two slots. See here. So select these two lines. Make it equal. We can make these two lines and a equal slots. Select this constraint. Now we have to constrain this with the dimensions. So the distance between these two slots is 50. This is 13. One fifty five. So this value is fifteen. See here. So this distance between this edge and this slot center is 25. So now it is fully constrained now. So instead of mirroring the feature, we can mirror these two sketches. So select these two sketches. Go to mirror entities and select this center line. Say OK.
now select this sketch go to extruded cut we have to link to thickness and normal to cut this is very much important see here now select this face once again go to sketch simply create one rectangle starting from the midpoint of this arc and joining this line so for that we have to constrain this so make it collinear so this value is 12 mm now go to sheet metal select extruded cut so link to thickness and the normal cut same thing see here we have to create the other side so it seems it is symmetric so similarly we have to mirror this cut out so select this center line join this origin and midpoint select this cut out go to mirror entity and select this center line say okay come out of this sketch so the cut has been created now we have to apply fillets so we have to select break corners so this is the fillet feature so initially we have to take 15 simply rotate it select this edge and this edge so it is not showing the preview that means we cannot extrude 15 so i will take 14.5 so say okay so once again i am going to create one more break corner i am going to select fillet option with 14 mm so it is not showing preview so i can provide 13.5 still it is not showing so 8 mm now i am going to apply chamfers see this corner chamfer two locations so one, here once again we have to go to break corner now we have to select the chamfer so chamfer is 20 mm so we have to apply chamfer at this location so select this break corner so after again 10 mm so we have to select the both the sides so 
so it's created now now all the features have been created now, now I am going to fold this component so it automatically select the previous face selected so now we have to click on the collect all bends and say ok see here here we can check with the flat pattern it's working or not so it is working so the component has been created now i am going to show you how to create the drawing for folded sheet metal component See here, I have taken A3 sheet so for better visibility. Now we have to insert the model. Double click on this. So it is better to follow this process. We have to go to sheet metal and we have to scale it up. the sheet this uh, component uh, size is 1 is to 5 so here I am going to press 1 is to 2 so go to sheet properties make it 1 is to 2 So that will reflect uh, to all the components. Now we can select this view and make use sheet scale and keep it in shaded form. So now when I place this component, it automatically takes when I select use sheet scale. So it reflects to all the components. Now keep it in front view. And select this take projected view. Now I am going to place the dimensions. So I am going to share this drawing in the PDF format and I am going to share this link in the description. You can download for practicing. Select these two circular edges and place a dimension and go to leaders. Select maximum in both the both the conditions. See here. See here in uh, options if you want to show this uh, decimal value, so we can go to units dimensions here we can keep up to one one decimal and here instead of smart show dimension if i select this 
the 276 value will convert into 276.0 see here so this is very much important when we are placing dimensions in mm that is millimeters so we have to show up to one decimal if it is in inches at least two decimal point is important if you want high precision component then you can, you can increase the value but general practice is we have to place one, one decimal value for mm see this component uh, nodes we have to show all dimensions are in mm material should be mild steel sheet thickness here it is 5 mm and bend radius is equivalent to sheet thickness so we have to mention as many nodes required but these are the basic requirement for placing a sheet metal component in the drawing so now i am going to place the other view dimensions so here i have to show this radius so move this dimension little bit rightward this is 20.5 25 this is 55 it's 20 25 as well as 50 See, usually we should not place dimension in the drawing, so we can place it outside. So this is 30. This is 10. Thirty five system radius is uh, eight. This is six point five. This value is 15, 14.5. This is 162. So initially we have to place it here and we have to select maximum so here it is at the center and the other side is maximum so we have to align the dimensions Now I am going to show you how to create 
drawing for a flat pattern. Usually folded state is shown in the sheet 1 and uh, flat pattern is created in the sheet 2. So inside dimension, inside this component, here we have to make it to uh, sheet scale, but sheet here we have to modify. So this is 1 is to 2. So here we can right click and uh, go to properties. Instead of default, we have to select flat pattern. So it is not modified. So if this error happens, we have to open this component. Go to flat pattern. Click on the flatten command. Now come back to the drawing. Now once again go to properties, select the flat pattern, say ok. Keep it in front view. So that is the method to show the flat pattern. Now I am going to place the ordinate dimensions. So this is the horizontal. So initially we have to place 0 and we have to keep on placing the so here I did a mistake so the extreme and we need to select so go to vertical dimension select this so simply place it here in leader we have to select maximum so it's showing minimum so select this so it connects to this end now select this dimension right click add ordinate so we can keep on placing the dimensions select this and we can select these edges also Here, this dimension should be maximum. See here, it's easy to place. Now, some of the dimensions I want to show in other direction. For example, these two dimensions. So, once again, we have to select this horizontal ordinate. Select this edge, place it in other direction and make it minimum. Say okay. So after placing, just simply right click, add ordinate, select this edges. See here. So if I want I can select this edge also, we can move a little bit inside. So once all the dimensions are placed, select this 0 and hide this because we cannot show in both the directions, one side is important. Similarly place vertical hardness, select this edge and select this point, say ok. So here I can simply select the midpoint, this edge. See here we have to go to maximum value.
see one thing if two slots are there and two cutouts are there and two flange locations are there then we have to select these dimensions and go to dimension text 2 into x so we have to type this so wherever the two locations are shown then we have to two show 2 into x similarly we have two slots so we have to select these two slots and we have to type 2 into x Now once after placing the dimension, we have to place the center marks. If you place uh, the center marks initially, sometimes uh, we face problem while placing these ordinates. So its best practice is that after placing these dimensions, we have to place the center marks. So, we have to maintain the same nodes in the flat pattern also. So this is how we create this kind of sheet metal components and create the drawing in folder state and flat pattern. Thanks for watching.